Before we begin this video, please click on subscribe, ring that notification bell, and like, comment, and share. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Zahid Dragon. In this video, we're going to test out the VRR in this update that Sony released uh, on the 10th of November 2021 for the Sony X9000H or also known as X900H in other regions. So this update released for other regions uh, like two weeks ago uh, earlier but for the Asia regions it released like uh, two weeks later for some reason Sony took their time to release it maybe because they were busy trying to fix some stuff but I'm glad and I'm happy with this update and I'm gonna share why yeah, why like it's all good but I th but there are some issues that I encountered with the VRR but we'll talk about that so first I'm gonna show you how the VRR works with the pendulum demo and I'm and also we're gonna see whether it works in 120 Hertz or not by comparing it to 60 Hertz and also I'm going to show you how the colors and everything is with the local dimming turned off in game and the game that we're gonna try it out on is Grand Theft Auto 5 let's hope that the Rockstar launcher is still uh, I mean like alive because I heard that yesterday it was shut down after the release of the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. It, they had some files which they unintentionally left and it contained copyrighted songs. So Rockstar removed it because of that. They wanted to save their money and stuff. Alright, so let's get into it. First, I'm going to show you that the VRR or the G-Sync is turned on all right so if I go to settings uh, not here if I go to settings all right and if I go channels and inputs and then external inputs HDMI signal format you can see that I chose the enhanced format VRR right all right and then you can see that this is HDMI 3 over here with the VRR okay and then well after that well, I go to Windows and with if you have an AMD control panel they go to AMD control panel if Nvidia then then uh, Nvidia control panel and I have the RTX 3080 so yeah Nvidia control panel and then go to setup G-Sync you can see that I've enabled everything I chose this okay and I turned on this thing so it's working for those of you who are saying it's saying that it's not validated as G-Sync compatible it, it just means that Nvidia haven't tested this TV so there, there could be some bugs and I'm gonna show you uh, those bugs soon so yeah I, I mean hopefully I, I'll be able to to produce those bugs because they're really hard to find okay so let's go to the pendulum demo now and i'm gonna uh, and yeah we're gonna test out the vrr in 120 and 60 fps while recording in slow motion with my galaxy s8 let's do it and also it's gonna record in 240 fps all right oh yeah by the way you can see that the g-sync is uh enabled all right so yeah this is using vrr so this is samsung galaxy s8 the phone that i'm using to record the pendulum demo of g-sync made by nvidia at 240 fps and then slow down by uh, like a uh, slow down to 25 percent speed to show the full f all right so first we have the 120 hertz mode take uh, a closer look at the 120 hertz uh, mode all right 
focus on the edges of the bell or whatever of the pendulum you can see that it looks so smooth there isn't any weird um, I guess you could say frame skipping of the pendulum it looks smooth all right yeah just focus on it but now if you focus you'll find that the pendulum looks a bit blurrier and not as smooth as the one before it this is because uh, it's running at 60 Hertz but uh, the previous one was also having VRR on and this one is having VRR on so this is proof that 120 Hertz is indeed working and now you can see that so now that we're comparing them side by side I think the the like it's so clear that the 120 Hertz is different than the 60 Hertz and with VRR on we could confirm that VRR works with 120 Hertz and that there isn't any weird stutters or screen tearing I hope that this uh, like erases any doubts that you've had left of the 60 Hertz VRR issue I think that's only for the UK and maybe some other regions but yeah we'll see about that all right then now since we've already confirmed that 120 Hertz works by comparing 120 Hertz and 60 Hertz then now we're gonna test out the performance of VRR in game we we're gonna see if it has the old flicker issue and like if it has any additional or whether they have fixed all of the issues let's see now all right we're in the game now and we're gonna test out VRR let's see if there is any flickering or previous uh, issue um, that came with VRR well there's supposed to be some flickering here and there especially in dark scenes or in places where there's like a dark uh, area but I don't see any flicker so far however I have played some HDR games and but they uh, rarely have this flickering issue but I've encountered it once while playing GTA Trilogy with HDR on, if I recall correctly. However, I think that there could be some other issues which are very hard to find. So if you found anything, be sure to report back here in the comments section below. All right, so the smoothness, I mean, let me open the, I mean, let me enable the counter of the FPS. You can see that it's running at 60 to 80 FPS, something like that, 90 FPS. And I mean, YouTube does not support VRR, so you will not be uh, able to find, uh, like to see it. I mean, like. Um, you, you will find some stuttering here and there but um, in real life while you're playing you will find it smoother than on the YouTube channel or a video anyway so let's try uh, getting higher FPS by flying we'll see if there is any stuttering if there is then it could be because I forgot to lock the FPS to 117 because the, the VRR or G-Sync works only below your refresh rate. If it goes, if it's equal to your refresh rate, I mean, if, if the FPS is equal to your refresh rate, then um, I mean, yeah, the maximum refresh rate, which is right, uh, 120 hertz right now, then it will ha have um, what's it called, screen tear even when it's higher than 120 hertz or i mean 120 fps it will have uh, like more screen tearings than normal however if it's below that it will be 
super smooth. Okay, so as you can see, it's all good. I think you can find it smoother too on YouTube, probably. Let's try doing something uh, intensive for the GPU. Well, well, well. I don't know. I guess you gotta start doing something like destroying cars. Right, let's try blowing up this car. Come on. Okay, so it can drop up to, I mean, to 50 FPS. But it's smooth. But uh, keep it, I mean, like, um, where are my tracks? Yeah, note that I'm using RTX 3080 with Intel Core i5 9600K. So, everyone's maybe your experience will be different than mine, especially if you're using a PlayStation 5 because PlayStation 5 does not support VRR yet. However, the like uh, the future of VRR looks good and uh, I hope that I hope that we can see VRR on the PlayStation side sooner rather than later and yeah I guess this experiment is successful I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did then subscribe and I'll see ya next time guys and make sure you check out this video over here bye bye so yeah as a reminder subscribe and ring the bell and all that good stuff about liking and commenting and sharing and goodbye see you next time